Good morning, my loves, and welcome back to today's live video training. Super quick one this morning because I'm heading off to, I sound like a news reporter. Like, Good morning and welcome to Channel 9 News. Um, super quick one this morning, so I'm heading off to begin the birthday celebrations for my mum's 60th. Um, I just jumped off a call with one of my mentors and I'm part of this society. Anyway, it's not secret, but I just don't want to talk about it. And um, we were having this discussion about this really beautiful artist and her name's Hilma Af Klint. She's a Swedish artist and she was prominent during the... I want to say she died in the 1940s. So I feel like like the early 1900s um, was in the late 1890s. Yeah, I think that's when she was most prominent. If you want to look her up, she's amazing. But it got me thinking about this idea of being obsessed with someone versus being inspired by them. And it's really interesting. Um, it's something that I'm sure that you've noticed with a lot of things we see in pop culture where there's this iconization of a particular person or an image or a brand and then there's this obsession that builds up around it we saw it with the Beatles we saw it with Elvis Presley we saw it more recently with Justin Bieber we've seen it with One Direction like Harry Styles like there's, there's so many Miley Cyrus like Doja Cat oh my god the list goes on I could you know name them forever the difference between being what like what this triggered in me initially was or what triggered this for me initially was when I first came across Hilma's work and I was like come like discovering her work and looking at all her stuff this morning I was like yes I'm obsessed this woman is awesome I'm going to like study all her stuff and she's going to be like a I'm basically I'm I was iconizing her like I was saying you know I was making her a god and me a mere mortal I was making a, a distinction and a separation between us and what happens when we like obsess over someone is that we put them on a pedestal. We say to ourselves or subconsciously what we're saying when we do that is like this person is up here and I am here and I'm putting myself in a position of like powerlessness and shining my the light of my awareness on up onto that person. If you think of like spotlights around a statue up onto that person who is, you know, now my God, basically. Um, and it's just like it's it's based on distortion because what we're saying is that person has something that I don't have or that person is inherently fundamentally more worthy, gifted, important than I am. And it's just like, that's just, it's not true, right? It's an absolute lie of consciousness. And so how can we discern and how can we come back to, um, I'm inspired by that person. And I literally did this morning. I went, okay. I just had that little moment of like, Oh, I remember. Um, it's like, if I'm obsessing over her, then I'm like subconsciously saying to myself, it comes from this place of like, I need someone else to go before me or to kind of hide in their shadow. Like that's what it is. You're hiding in their shadow. You're saying like this person is everything and I'm just going to like sit at their feet and worship them. The upgrade, I guess, like from that is saying like, is knowing the truth of who we are and being inspired by that person. So rather than coming from a place of powerlessness to power, we're coming from a place of equal power, equal, like, like equality, right? Where we're on equal ground and we're saying, I'm inspired by you. You are showing me what is possible. You have allowed your innate gifts to come to the fore. You have expressed who you are in the world. You have, this is what she inspired in me. You brought forth what is within you. And I'm inspired as hell by that. And so I really had to like bring myself back to, okay, I'm not going to hide in her shadow. I'm not going to use her work as like a, you know, a, like a, a yeah, some godly thing that I get to worship and iconize, but I'm going to bring it back to, you know, there is nothing that she did that I cannot also do. And rather than there's something that I'm, I feel like I'm dancing around it here, but there's something that it's like really, really wants to come out. It's like being able to see yourself in another person and then bringing home those qualities. Yeah, this is what it is. It's bringing home those qualities within yourself that you see in them and embodying them in yourself. So rather than like outsourcing and then um, like, disowning those qualities in another person which i've done with mentors and role models and so many people and still do to some extent i'm working on it um it's bringing them home and saying okay i see in you that power i see in you that trust i see in you that faith i see in you that foresight and now i'm going to own those qualities within myself and bring them to the fore 
I'm going to be faithful. I'm going to be, what did I say? Honest. I'm going to be, I'm going to have foresight. That's what it is. <laughs> right? I'm going to have foresight and I'm going to stand in that and be honest in that and be like in integrity in myself in that. Um, that's what it is. That is my message for today. The difference between obsessing and idolizing and being inspired by. So where can you bring the people that you've pedestaled back down to, um, or like, where can you raise yourself to the level of the people that you've pedestaled and, um, yeah, just see yourself as, as equals, which you are absolutely, you are and equal worth, equal value, all the things. And just say, you know what? Um, I'm going to choose to be inspired by you and not obsessed with you. I love you guys. Um, we can do this with ourselves too, P.S. Like, rather than being self-obsessed, we can be inspired by ourselves. It's like a whole new way of thinking about yourself. So um, hopefully this shifted and shattered your paradigm this morning. And I hope, um, yeah, I hope that you use it and that it serves you going forward. Have the most beautiful, spectacular, wonderful day. I'm off for an incredible weekend with my family and I'm so excited. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow in my next video. Love you, bye. <laughs>